Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix this error. Microsoft Excel cannot open or save any more documents because there is not enough um, there's not enough available memory or disk or space. So this usually happens when you're trying to download a file from online um, or uh, or through an email or something of that sort and you want to open it from there and you get this error. So it's a really simple fix on how you can fix it. There's two options you can do to check, uh, you know, definitely try both of them. If one of them doesn't work, the other one definitely should work. So what we want to do first is go to the Excel file, right click it, go to properties, right? And in some cases, if you are getting it from online, you will see an option that says unblock, right? And it'll have a message. You want to just check the unblock right and apply the settings press ok and then open it and see if it works okay so in in that in my case i already have it unblocked so it's not going to show up again so if that does not work the other option you can do is go to file go to options go to trust center trust center settings and protected view and you want to disable these three options so enable protected view for files originating from the internet uh, protected view for um, located in potentially unsafe location and outlook attachments so you only want to do this if you definitely trust the person sending your file sending the files to you right so you know if it's like a work thing or uh, you know you you know who sent it to you is it's and he's 100 percent trusted then you you only want to do this because you don't want to open run something on your computer which you know could potentially be unsafe so you want to disable all those three right and then try to reopen the file again okay i'm gonna just cancel that for my settings but yeah those two options uh definitely try those and those should work the other last option is you know when you are get, trying to open a file straight from outlook or from the web make sure to download it first on your local machine right uh, you know put it in like your downloads folder or desktop or somewhere right and run it from there okay that might also help also and lastly but but not least make sure you actually have enough memory right or enough space to hold the excel file or to to save the excel file locally and to open it so yeah those are the three different ways uh, let me know your guys thoughts on it if you like this video and it helped definitely give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace